Hi and welcome to Hedgehog Holly. Today I'm showing you how to create this Together Forever card. We're going to create this gorgeous background using the Crafters Workshop acrylic paints, the pink and the white together to give that lovely textured background. And you can see all those different ripples and marbling in there. Plus we're going to add gilding flakes through a stencil to create this gorgeous uh, accent and highlight in the background. We're also using the Together Forever die cut and stamp set as well as some colored embossing powder to really make it pop on there as well for you. So let's get started. want to create our background and I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock here, my palette knife and two of the gorgeous heavy body acrylic paints from the Crafters Workshop. This one's the Raspberry Sorbet and this one is the Spun Sugar and I'm going to mix them together to create some really nice light and dark pinky shades. The first thing I want to do is stick down my piece of Bristol Smooth and I'm only catching a very small bit on the edge. I have mine pre-cut by the FedEx store and I just have it cut into quarters. So it's slightly larger than card front size, but not a huge amount. So I always just try to only catch those edges. I always use um, this purple painter's tape when I'm working with acrylic paints or inks and things. The only time I switch it out is if I'm working with water and then I use the frog tape because it's waterproof. Now I'm going to add some raspberry sorbet in here gorgeous bright pink color and I'm working on my Tim Holtz mat so it has this white palette area on here and it's really easy to clean up and I'm going to mix these but I'm not going to actually mix them all that well because I want different tones going through so you can see that I've got nights of nights and darks and I'm just going to start by taking my spatula and spreading it backwards and forwards and I don't mind if I still see some areas of white cardstock But I really just want, you can see those beautiful textures in there. And I'm putting the, my palette knife down in various places. There's lumps, there's bumps. There's some really nice things. And I know this is not something you would normally see me do in this mixed media vein, but at Creativation, I took some mixed media classes and that's made me feel far more confident in attempting these messy things. So I'm going to leave this to dry. You'll probably want to leave it for around about an hour. So now I'm going to be using the new Crafters Workshop Flower Grid Stencil and I'm sticking it down on top of that painted panel that we made and I'm using some purple painter's tape. You want to stick both pieces down. Now this works really well to give you um, a random but not random sort of background and we're going to be using a Nuvo glue pen. This is the medium tip, it's a chisel tip and you want to pump it up and down until you get um, some glue come through. You'll see some milky white dots appearing there, that's the glue. Um, when it's wet, it's a milky white and it dries clear. Now I'm going through all of the stencil to add the glue. The more open the stencil, the more definition you'll get and the more closed the stencil, the more you'll get this distressed effect. So we're not going to be able to see all the effects of the um, glue through the stencil. But I really struggle with making backgrounds look random and this is a really nice way of getting um, pieces here and there. It kind of gives a loose pattern but at the same time it gives you that look of just some uh, nice accents and highlights using the gilding flakes that we're going to be adding in a minute. So this nice chisel tip is available also in a wide and it's also available in a ball tip which is the narrow, the small. And you want to dry the glue until it goes clear. So some places were still a little bit milky white. So I just used my Ranger heated tool to dry it off. Then I popped it on top of a piece of printer paper. It just makes it a little bit easier to go with. 
pop the gilding flakes down and then start rubbing with your finger. So you can see there it starts to give you some of that nice circular shape. And I also wanted to add some accents on the corners. I felt that was a little bit bare. So I just went back with the stencil and added those pieces. Again, just pop some gilding flakes on and rub and it will stick down. Now, if you don't wait for the glue to be clear, you'll get some more solid areas, which you'll see in a second. I did one of those here in the middle or you can um, wait for it to dry like I did everywhere else and you get those nice open pieces as well. So once you finish with your panel, I then use the Neat and Tangled Together Forever set and I'm stamping out the Forever using some of the Nouveau Clear Mark Pad, which is an embossing pad. And I decided to use this magenta embossing powder from uh, Ranger and I'm using my tiny tray there just to uh, put back the pieces nice and easily and I'm going to heat emboss that with my Wagner heat tool and that pink really does pop nicely on the black there you can see how well it looks and I'm now going to start cutting things down so my pink uh, ba acrylic background that we did I'm cutting down to uh, five inches by three and three quarter inches and I took a little bit off of each side so it was nice and even um, there so that's my base layer then I cut a black piece that is five and a quarter by four inches and now I'm just trimming that forever piece and I line it up with the guides in the um, cutter piece there which is my favorite cutting tool and I just keep going around until I have it the right size and that makes it really nice and easy to sort out and then um, I've also die cut the together uh, which is from the stamp set on some black and I added some of the thermo web adhesive foam first of all I want to mount up these layers so I'm using my tonic funky tape runner to adhere this to some lawn form black licorice and then I'm going to adhere it onto a Nina solar white card base that's cut eight and a half by eleven lengthways so uh, that will give us our nice card front and our layers are around about an eighth all the way around and that you can see there gives us that nice pop so again, I've cut that together forever out on the black cardstock. I'm also adding some foam to my forever piece. And that means it's adhesive on both sides. So I can just stick this straight down onto my card. And this was the together die. I ran it through my Gemini just a couple of times and that made sure it popped out really easily. And it's just got a little bit of dimension. So it's not a flat card front. And you can see how nice it looks there with our silver gilded accents and that pink background as well. Stick on my forever piece as well. And there is our card all done so thanks so much for joining me here today at the crafters workshop don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video we'd love to have you back here at hedgehog hollow and i'll see you again very soon for some more inspiration happy stamping bye